I freaking called it. I nailed it right on the head. What's up, it's Cinema Shogun here. And last night, we were talking about this really, really weird story coming out of Peru. You see a certain tribe in Peru, they have been claiming that their village was under attack by aliens for like a month now. And the way they described these aliens was really odd to me. It sounded to me like they weren't really describing aliens at all. It sounded as, it sounded as if they were describing humans in some type of high-tech gear or something along those lines. You see, they literally said that the aliens that were attacking their village, they said that they looked like the Green Goblin from the Spider-Man movie. Now, looking at the story, for one, I believed the villagers that something was happening to their village, but I wasn't sold on the fact that it was aliens. Listen, I've been looking into aliens my whole entire life. I'm not going to sit here and pretend to be an expert like I didn't dedicate all of my days to learning about aliens, but I know more than the average person. And it's a topic that I like looking into and discussing very often. And I had never heard of a case like this one. And something that was really odd to me was that no one was abducted from this village. Nothing was really taken from this village. It just seems as if, or how it was reported, that these creatures were just showing up and causing a stir in the middle of the night. There were various skirmishes between these creatures and the villagers and things of that nature. So something about it seemed off. And last night in my video, I said, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of Scooby-Doo. This sounds like a Scooby-Doo plot. And I know that may seem outlandish, but listening to the story, it sounded like something straight out of the, straight out of the Scooby-Doo cartoon. Like people dress up as ghosts or pirate monsters or monster creatures in order to scare some type of people because they have a hidden agenda or a motive behind the scenes. I said that something about the story just reminds me of Scooby-Doo. And now here we are today, and it is being reported that this whole alien situation going down in Peru was in fact a Scooby-Doo type situation. And actually, they actually use the words Scooby-Doo to describe what is going on here. And I'm kind of mind blown because I half jokingly stated this last night and it turns out that this may be what actually is happening, but I'm still not 100% sold. But let's go ahead and dive into what's being said right now. Peruvian authorities have identified the alleged aliens that have been terrorizing a village for the past month and revealed that the extraterrestrials were actually a group of miners with a scheme straight out of the classic cartoon Scooby-Doo. The, the wild case, which made headlines earlier this week, began last month when the Ikitu indigenous people living in the district of Alto Nene reported nightly visits from fantastic beings believed to be aliens or supernatural entities that seemingly possessed the power to levitate. Following an attack on a teenage girl by one of the eerie interlopers, Peruvian authorities descended on the scene to investigate and managed to quickly unmask the nefarious ETs. In detailing the findings of their investigation, an official reportedly indicated that the visitors were actually a group of individuals who were illegally mining for gold in the nearby jungle. Amazingly, lest one think that the accounts of levitating aliens were a case of mass hysteria or simply made up out of whole cloth, he explained that the gang actually used jetpacks to make it appear as if the beings were not bound by the laws of gravity. 
The purpose of the elaborate production was to convince the visitors or the villagers that aliens or supernatural beings had overtaken the jungle so that they fearfully avoided the area where the illegal minor operation was underway. Oh my God. This is literally Scooby-Doo. This happens all the time on Scooby-Doo. Someone will like dress up as a ghost. They'll haunt a mansion because they don't want the mansion to be sold or they want to scare someone into selling the mansion or they'll haunt a business because they really want the business to go out of business. It's always some weird type of plot like this one. But from what authorities say, these people, I guess, were dressing up using jetpacks. Where the hell did they get jetpacks? I don't know. Okay, I would like a jetpack. I may need two to get my big ass off the ground, but if I have to strap one to my belly and to my back, I will be flying around this motherfucker in no time. Okay, but anyway. <laughs> but anyways, this is what's being reported in Peru, okay? Like I told you all yesterday, I'm not here trying to make you believe any of this. I'm simply here to report to you what's going on in the news in Peru. This is not some type of story that no one knows about. As I showed you yesterday, mainstream media has been openly talking about this. This is one of the biggest news stories in Peru right now. This is not just some random thing that I saw on the internet. This is a big story. But from what authorities say, there's a gang of people who were illegally mining for gold in the jungle right outside of this village and they tried to scare the villagers, villagers away by, I guess, dressing up like aliens. And apparently they had access to jetpacks and were flying around scaring the heebie-jeebies out of these people. Mind you, I, it's not like this tribe is totally what I would call uncivilized, but they're not, you know, used to the type of technology that me and you are used to, okay? These are people who live a very different lifestyle. So we may see things that we're able to explain, but when they see the same things, they aren't able to explain it in the same way. They might not even know that certain technology exists. And then you have these people out here flying around with green goblin masks with jetpacks on. What in the hell is going on in this world? I told you all yesterday that this was some type of Scooby-Doo situation, or this was maybe the government our government, maybe some other government, trying to test out like top secret weapons, trying to see how they would react. You see, they don't want to fly around people in jetpacks in the middle of New York City. We're going to do it right in the middle of this indigenous tribe. We're going to scare them. We're going to see how effective these weapons are, these vehicles and different things are. I don't know. I find it I find it weird, okay? I'm not ready to let go of this story yet. Now, I'm not saying that they got this from me, but this story's been going on for weeks. It just caught my radar a couple of days ago, thanks to Nerd Report on YouTube. Go check them out. But I find it weird that I said that I thought this may be some type of Scooby-Doo plot, and then I wake up and seven hours later, the whole case is solved. And they literally used the words that this was a plot straight out of the Scooby-Doo cartoon. I'm not saying they saw my video or anything like that, but it almost feels like they literally watched my video and got an explanation from my video and just threw it online like, hey, this is our explanation for what's going on. It's a Scooby-Doo plot. <laughs> you know, it's almost unreal. Like, I'm still sitting here like, are you sure you figured out what happened in this village? Or are you just throwing stuff out there seeing what sticks? You know, I'm not convinced that they solved this whole case overnight since the last time I made a video about this that I uploaded at like 12 o'clock last night or I guess 12 a.m. today if you want to be technical. So I do find that weird, but hey, it is what it is. I thought it looked like a Scooby-Doo plot. Apparently, maybe that's what it is. I would like to see what happens from here. Are there still going to be attacks on this tribe? Um, are they arresting these illegal miners that are mining for gold in this jungle? I don't know. I know for a fact there's a lot more to this story, and I can't wait to hear more about it. I hope that we get more because aliens are no aliens. If you've got people dressed up as aliens flying around on jetpacks mining for gold, 
scaring villagers, that right there is an interesting, juicy story that I would love to cover. Let me know your thoughts about all of this down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and remember to... <laughs> and I'll just, you know what, never mind. I'll just talk to you all in the next video.